Alright. Paper, fire paper. Okay. I think that'll help in a pinch. Alright. Let's see if I can get some beast blood pellets. <laughs> No, apparently I can't yet. Okay. Wait. I don't have that equipped. Onward to Rom, and then... Let's see what we have time for after. If I can get him killed in a manageable amount of time, that is. That didn't go how I had it planned. I forgot about the... the... arcane... barrage. Okay. Well... Different strategy here.
Oh, fuck. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh, here we go. That's just not giving me an easy time today.
shit. <laughs> that was a freaking... Man, I'm glad I killed her, but damn, I didn't expect her to kill me at the same time. I mean, I was just unlucky. Oh, I keep going the wrong way. So if I went the other way, it'd be a lot fucking faster. Yeah, the fog gate's down and everything. But I still have to go find Lady of Yarnum in order to actually get to the next spot. Alrighty. There's Lady Yarnum. There's the moon, and we can hear Murgo in the background. On to the next phase of Bloodborne. Hey, but at least I killed her. I mean, hell. I'd rather I'd rather die killing her try than um not kill her. I mean when I died I kinda expected it to like stalemate me and say, Nope, you have to kill her again. You still died, you gotta kill her again. I consider how much trouble that stupid boss was causing me, I'm kinda glad. Whoa. Ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare of reborn or newborn. Yeah, I have to seek out Murgo. Fuck. No, amygdala. I definitely don't want to fuck with him right now. I haven't even done that boss yet. Oh. Nice try, but you're just an executioner. So, too bad. Oh, is this the other side of that thing with the amygdala? Did I miss something? Oh, so I can now see them all. That's what's going on here. Well, that's not very nice. I can still hear Murgo in the background. Come on. Let's see how much you can do against this thing. Alrighty. Let's not do that like that. Oh. 
Okay, so I'm in Yargle Unseen Village. So that means I need to head to that one... I might be able to head to that one building. I walked right past the stupid lamp. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I have other business to take care of, so let's go back. So we're gonna go see if we can find good old Eileen and see if she needs any assistance. Or if I screwed up that particular quest. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Oh, and I completely screwed myself on Echoes, because I could have used the ones I got from Rom. Good hunter, your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. Yep. Farewell, good hunter. I will be hopefully doing a complete, like, playthrough of this, but... I have limited amounts of time, so... I'm kind of stuck doing it this way. But oh well, at least I get to uh, broadcast my favorite, or my first character I ever created. <laughs> On top of that, I captured the uh, first time I've ever killed Rom, so uh, that works too. Okay. If I remember correctly, after I get some echo or some <laughs> vials or not. If I remember correctly, you're supposed to go and seek out Eileen at the uh, place where you fight Vicar Amelia. And I went to the wrong headstone. Okay, she should be at the Grand Cathedral. So we're gonna have to start... I think we might be able to start at the Tomb of Odin. Because I really don't want to start back that far. But we'll see. See if it works this way. Or if I've already screwed up the quest. If I've already screwed up the quest, then we might then I might as well just go on and try to find my way through Yargle Unseen Village and I don't know, attempt the one re the one reborn. But we'll see what happens. Excuse me. All I know is according to what I read, the only way you can actually do Eileen's quest is to actually find her after killing Rom. And apparently she's trying to kill a hunter that is in the spot where uh where, um, Amelia was. Huh. What's up with her? Oh. There you are. For 
Forgive me, I'm a bit out of sorts. So, no blood today, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. And I also have another thing I have to go do. I tried to kill... I didn't record this, but I did try to kill Sefka at one point. So, what I need to do with that is I need to actually go back and get the umbilical cord from the Sefka. Oh well. Let's try to get up to where Eileen is first. Before I worry about what I'm doing afterwards. Never gotten to this part before. Kind of pretty, all the purple going. I don't know what it is, but once I actually got powerful enough to kill these giant guys, it was... That was a little... Oh, darn it, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, because I've got the gate open over here somewhere. So, that was unnecessary damage that I didn't need to be taking. Heal. There she is. So I did it right. Oh. Is that you again? I'm afraid I've made a bit of a blunder. I'm just going to have a short rest. No, oh. don't worry. I've taken blood enough to save an old woman. No more dreams for me. This is my last chance. What a fool I am. I'll have to tread carefully. But that thing still lies in wait. What thing? Turn back. This is my score to settle. My prey lies in wait this way. Turn back. This is my score to settle. You have anything else to say? My prey lies in wait okay. this way. Well, you can't tell me what to do, so. And because I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna kill you. I hadn't expected him to be that tough. Probably ought to go check and see if I can get blood pellets before I go and mess with that. Oh yeah, I should say this. Um, this is uh, Zig Electric for uh, Distorted Games. I am going to stop calling myself Zig Electric. At least on YouTube. So, for all intents and purposes, my name is... I'm going to use my real name, Zach. Just because I hate calling myself Zig for some reason. So, you hear it, heard it here, if I record any more for YouTube, I'm going to be just using my first name, Zach. 
<laughs> Seriously? I can't get blood pellets from here yet. I have to kill someone else to do it, I guess. Oh, bother. Oh, I had one. Okay. can't do that right like that I thought I'd be able to once I actually made it there on foot I thought I'd be able to actually use that waypoint thing hmm well I stand correctly corrected apparently here. Because if I can level up a little bit, I should... I should level up a little bit if I can. Very well, let me... And I'm short by a couple. Well, shit. <laughs> Purchase items. I just need about eleven.
Let's see if I can get up here without making another stupid mistake. Alrighty. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Don't you ever listen to your elders? No. did save my life. I don't seem to be happy for this life anymore. No, I'd say not. My glory days were long ago now. Hmm. I know. Here. For you. Cool! Hell yeah! This too is Hunter's work. But it bears no honor. A burden you may choose to carry. The decision is yours alone. Oh. My eyes grow heavy. Let me rest a while. I'll be fine. Just wait. Okay. Well, I'm sure you're fine. Well, cool. Glad I could help with that. So now I have become hunter of hunters. Jeez, can you seriously continue to hear Murgo all the way this way? like this far out huh oh well hunter's dream it is then glad I could save Eileen welcome what is it Good hunter. Okay, same thing. Farewell, good hunter. I figured she'd at least say something about Eileen. Considering Eileen also went to the dream. <laughs> uh, do we have anything new? 
Oh, we do have this. Special trick weapon passed down amongst hunters of hunters. One of the oldest weapons in the workshop. Splits into two when activated. The weapon's warped blades are forged with ciderite, a rare mineral of the heavens. Most effective in swift attacks, such as a quick step, or after a quick stepping. Okay. Not really my thing, but we'll see. Ah. I can get this stuff now. Which I might. It depends on how it, well, I was going to say how it holds up to what I've got, but I think it's actually pretty good. Is there anything that I don't need? Okay. Okay, I don't need this stuff anymore. <laughs> well, hopefully this is gonna be... Uh, okay. Going to at least for the moment wear my hunter of hunters outfit. All right. Hmm. Oh yeah, there is one other thing that needs to be settled at the moment. They need to go to the first floor sick room. Go to the first floor sick room and find a Sefka, or imposter Sefka at this point. I went the wrong way. Oh well, haven't been back here in a long time, so let's see what happens here. This was the original Asefka. She was turned into a celestial emissary. Now, hold up, was she back here or was she up there somewhere? I have no clue. All I know is I came back here before Rom and tried to kill a Sefka, and I did not have the best time of it. Well, who did she manage to turn into this? I never sent anyone to her. I sent everyone to the church. You're not still alive, are you? Oh, 
Wouldn't you know it? She's still alive. Hmm. God, I'm nauseous. Have you felt this? It's progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. I... Oh, God, it feels awful. But... It proves that I'm chosen. Don't you see... How they writhe... Writhe inside my head? It's rather... Rapturous, that... <laughs> God, I'm washed. It's my it's Well It's your own fault for trying to have uh for trying to give birth to a great one. So here you go. Really I missed. Okay, here you go. Dang it! Okay. I'll put you out of your misery. Alrighty. I think, considering she was going insane, just like they say about when you get the Great One's wisdom and all that, I believe she was, uh... Well... Since she was giving birth to a great one, I believe she must have had eyes inside her brain. Same as what we get when we have too much insight. So... That's fun. Her body wasn't capable of it anyway, even if she wasn't human. Now what? I think I'm gonna stop for now and... I think I'm gonna stop for now and go get something to eat. Okay, well, have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you in the next one, whether it's later, whether it's later today or some other time. Goodbye.